Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Alice Decor, and today I'll be showing you guys my unturned map. Some of it, but mainly I'll be showing you guys the custom zombies on here. This is actually the town I'm working on. I think it's really cool, I spawned by it. It's Falsmith. Um, I don't have all the spawn points set up in here. There are some, but... No item spawns, a few zombie spawns, etc, etc. We're, we're just here to grab a car. Yeah. Some spooky, scary stuff. Actually, it's a good place to start. So these zombies here are militia zombies. Um, they got decently high health pools. And they drop some of the nicest items you can get on this side of the map and this side of the map goes right along here in the Camp Sovereign, Camp Samaritan, Aussie Mall, Police Checkpoint, and the Bunker that is the edge of oh, and Sienna those are the, e that's the edge of the easy side of the map so these <coughs> so Actually, pretty easy to tell. All right, and here we have a mix of bandits, thugs, and we have four insects. Let's run. Which clearly didn't go well. All right. So that right there, this is a bandit zombie. The ones in the spec ops vests with the ball cards. Those are spec ops zombies. Yeah, spec ops. Those are bandit zombies. Bandit zombies are harder than the thug zombies. Which are the ones you saw. Oh, here's another good spot. These are the red guard or coast guard zombies. And believe me, hazardous is an understatement. As you can see there, he nearly killed me. He might actually kill me. No, no we killed him. And they spawn right along in here. And right up there. I can't... I don't know if you can see him, so we're just going to go around the building. We're not going to go through, because I'd rather not die, because this is my... Oh, my only chance to show you the, these, um... So up here we have construction zombies, which drop construction loot, you know. All construction miners right here. That This one right here, as you can see from the gas mask he's wearing, I'm definitely going to show you more of those later. That is a strong police zombie or, or a gas mask police. They're one of the harder starter zone zombies on the whole map and I don't know if you can see right there I might have to go through this zombie right here but there is also a oh you can't get on board from over here that's a shame um but oh, you can see him right there in the white clothes that is a medic zombie and I believe these right here these two are the starter zone hazmat zombies which drop medic zombie that, oh but if you need a better example of a medic zombie, there's one right there. Yeah, more of the Coast Guard guys. Um, I guess while we're here in this general area, I'll go ahead and take you down to Rose Drift. Rose Drift is one of the biggest locations for, um... Well, it's the only location for another zombie type. Oh, there's, uh, Lester's rig. I haven't put anything on it, still. It's actually going a lot faster than I thought it would. As you can see, they can wear all sorts of stuff. Usually wearing full red. So there's this fortress down here which contains um, the Coast Guard or Red Guard boss who is uh, basically a mega version of 
This guy is wearing a red balcava instead of a hat or bandana. He's he also wears a vest, I believe. You'll see him, he's in there, but there are a bunch of zombies. This is deemed as currently the hardest location to loot on the map. These two right here. And this is Rose Drift, and this is the Red Forums Fort, but I could not write Red Forums Fort on the map because Lester Rig was too close. And Rose Drift, and these right here are the tribal, or as I like to call them, because of Rose Drift. Historical significance, these are the Zulu zombies. And, um, they have about 80 health. They're not super difficult to kill, and they can drop, um, food. Um, they can drop obsidian tools and green or camouflage themed clothes. There's also a boss version inside of the town, whom we're going to try to find. So one sec, okay, first make yourself some medical so we don't bleed out on the way there. Always hated this part. There he is right there, you can see he's a different color on, that is him right there. Now just sneak right back down here just to show you the boss. Now he's either right up here inside the opening, which, give it a second, they're all gonna appear right in front of me. That happens. Okay, he's all the way back there. Now you can reset this place if someone's not inside of it by going back and forth here. So if you wanna grind it, that is a little pro tip. Though it doesn't always work. It usually does, as you can see, different zombie types. House to move locations. There are a bunch of zombies in there. See them up all up on the roof with their spitters up there. They can give you some pretty nasty problems. Yeah. Huh. Seriously, I don't see him, which is weird. We might have to just run in there. He can spawn over there by the heli crash. So let's go and build up our stamina. So we're not going to be able to fight our way through these guys. I know that for as a fact. Way too many of them and they're way too dangerous. We could try to swim in. So yeah, Red Forums is more like a group loading, looting location, which do exist on here where they require a small group of players or a large group of players to loot. I'd suggest two or three other people with you. So in total, three or four people could tackle this place without too much issue. Too many fewer than that, and you might have problems still. I seriously need to add ways. Alright. So you're not spawned by the helicopter this time, unfortunately. But you see that spitter right there? If you got in a fight down here, he would give you death from above. These zombies right now can't do crap to me, so we're gonna just, I don't know, kill a few or something. Nah. We should just save it for later. There is a lot of good loot in there. Definitely worth it if you are new and need or require loot. And this road right here is the place to go to reset the entire location if you need to. As you can see there, they all vanished and these guys appeared. You can go back and forth in between if you want. 
reset them for optimal conditions. So let's go ahead and Sometimes you can fool them like that. Now you can't glitch kill them all, as you can see they do back away, but you can do it to a few if necessary. They also drop 3 experience as opposed to the standard amount, which is just 5. See fairly good loot. We're gonna get up onto this tower. As you can see, there's a spitter right there. So we're going to very, very carefully kill the remaining zombies here at the front gate and slowly make our way into this location so I can show you the boss man did I forget to mention how difficult this uh, map is We're gonna go ahead and just sprint in here. No boss is in sight. Unfortunately for us. I cannot show him to you guys because he's refusing to spawn. But he can also be found on the dogfighter and possibly the gold digger. Not sure yet. I'm still designing the map. It's not 100% done. I'm just showing you the basic uh, zombie. Well, no, the more difficult zombie types you can come across inside the starter zone. Which are the bandit, gas mask, police. Soon, I'm going to show you the knight. There's the Zulus, the Zulu boss, all the boss ones. So we're just going to go ahead and just like, die, I guess. Let's see if we can get something nice off one of these Zulus real quick. As we fight to the death. As you can see, you do get farming materials. So if you want to farm, you would definitely grind Zulu zombies. And as you saw over there, there was a blunt force. We're going to actually try to get that out real quick. And kill as many as we can. Alright. So, just this way, we can go ahead and show you two more zombie types. One of which, no, actually three. Um. One of which spawns inside of the prison. And only inside of the prison. It is the prison boss zombie, as expected. Um, he looks like a prisoner zombie, but is wearing an orange balkava and is a mega. 
He only has 300 health, making him pretty easy to kill, actually. I know, 300 health sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. It's very little on here. It's only three times player health. Sometimes he can spawn here all the way at the front door. And sometimes he spawns way in the back. Rest in peace, because I wasn't able to show him. All right. And there's nothing to show all the way out here. Other than just my demise and the beautiful Citadel. All right. You'll, you'll see that a lot. See a lot of player death. But inside Aphex, you can find the prison boss, and right outside Aphex, actually, right over here, you can find the thug boss, who you can also find down in Charsonville, and actually in a whole bunch of different locations, map-wide. Probably the most common boss is the thug boss. The weakest boss is the prison boss. The hardest boss is probably the, right now, as of right now, is the Coast Guard, or Red Guard boss. The second would be the Zulu boss. I think that's it for the bosses. But there are some regular zombies that are stronger than um, some of the lower level bosses such as the thug boss there are these ones called bandits and the bandits which I had showed earlier uh, they wear spec ups vests and black ball covers they are stronger than a thug boss just one alone and they can come in the regular variety which can be flanker regular spitter burner Sprinter and Crawler, making them more dangerous. Good news is they don't throw rocks, and they can only right now be found in Fallsmith and up here. Lucky you guys, you know. Um, I honestly think it'll be a waste of time for me just to go in here to die again. So we're going to try to take one last peek into this location. Actually, I'm going to try to show off the thug boss over here. He he has multiple variations on appearance, and then because he's so common, but he is a very weak and easy starter boss. Great enemy to kill when you're starting out because he gives anywhere from five to eight different. Thug tier items, or low tier bandit, whatever, whichever you want to call it, which are these guys, and the one with the red vest there, that one. Oh no, we got lucky. A prison boss spawned instead. Yes, the prison boss can also spawn out here. That is what the prison boss looks like. Um, the thug boss is basically the same thing, but black armor instead of orange, and can wear a vest. I don't think there's a statistical difference other than their drops, except for maybe the prison boss has less health. I mean, I have killed the prison boss with two shotgun blasts, so he's not he's not that impressive. And that was from a sawed off. Of course, it was point blank, but still. So we're going to go ahead and head towards Galfrey Castle, as you can see right there. Well, Castle Galfrey, and that location holds a very, very unique zombie called the Knight. Now, the Knight is one of the most, uh, probably one of the scariest zombies that you can find down in the starter zone. But also one of the most unique. They have a chance of dropping the legendary Zoi Hender Sword, which you can achieve, she can achieve from the uh, <coughs> boss from 
And you can actually see them here. But you can see from the Kaiser box on uh, the Germany map doing the secrets um, Easter egg. Come on. Nope. And this is a peasant zombie, no big deal. And these are beach goers slash swimmer zombies. Now, the night zombies, the thing that makes them so dangerous, other than the fact that they are tanks, look how much damage it does. Boom. You kill me really, really quickly. I mean, really quickly. So yeah, I think that's it for what I'm what what I really wanted to show you guys. I didn't want this to be as long of a video as it is. Sorry, I tried showing you guys the um, some unnecessary things. You can also find um, I'll make an official guide for every specific uh, zombie type location one day soon. But until then, peace out, guys.